Hi guys! Today I want to talk about my pileas, pilea plants. So my peperomias, pilea, peperomia, whatever you want to call it. So basically guys, I have three of these lovely, lovely, lovely babies. Look at them. They are so beautiful. And let's talk a little bit about them. This is a raindrop peperomia. And basically, guys, these are big leaves, really, really big. And IKEA are doing them in bulk. They're selling so much. This is really, really easy to find. And this costs, I think, five or six pounds from IKEA. And it, there's a lot of it, guys, and it is so nice. And it, the leaves are quite heavy, so they start drooping. So maybe I need something to hold this baby up because as it droops, it's, it's getting a bit hurt there. So can't have that happening to this lovely, lush baby. But these leaves are so nice. And what I do is keep them in indirect sunlight and water them once or twice a week, depending on if the soil is dry or not. And because these are quite good in holding water, because these are like succulents, they, these are quite thick, thick skinned. So they can hold water. So if, even if I watered it once a week or maybe even <clears throat> once every two weeks, it would thrive just as well. So this doesn't even need any attention of mine at all. It's just doing its own thing, growing lusciously and growing more pups for me growing little babies all over the place so this is one fantastic house plant i must say if you want to get this if you've got it good if you want to get it get it you won't regret it so that's one the next pilea is the chinese money plant the ufo plant it's it has the paint pancake plant it has a million and one names like some asians and basically this i got when it was really really tiny it was so small this is probably a month i put it in a bigger pot and it's doing so well peperomodis pilea peperomodis i got it for 4.95 from clifton's and it is doing really well there's no new pots growing but there are new leaves growing out of the same plant just nothing new besides it that can be divided so yeah there's that little luscious baby this again guys i keep in indirect sunlight and water once a week these leaves are like succulents too but they're not as thick as the raindrop one so you got that and you got this the best one guys the absolutely best one that i love in, in all the pileas that i've got and got three but all three out of all three of them this is the best and guys this was the hardest for me to find as well maybe not where you live but in london in the uk this ain't available everywhere I've looked and looked and looked and I can find one cutting that's like £10 or £12 or like they're going for so much for a little cutting or the smallest plant ever going for quite a bit and it's just like <coughs> I'm just gonna leave that <clears throat> I'm not even gonna bother editing that out but anyways guys I'm fine it's just this has got a lot of pollen, you know. Do you know, this actually gives out pollen and it's crazy, but it's growing so many little pups as well already. I didn't do an unboxing on this. I got this online from eBay, guys, for, I think it was like nine pounds and postage was like four, so about 14 pounds I got this baby for. After looking high, low and everywhere, it's so unpopular in the UK. I don't know if it was just me couldn't find it or if it really is unpopular, but for real guys, I just can't seem to find this everywhere, like anywhere in the UK. 
but it might be popular again like i said where you live but look at this guys i mean who wants a watermelon take your pick i sometimes even feel like eating it look i'm not crazy i'm not gonna eat the plant, the plant but it's like oh it's so nice can i just eat it like is that nice um if only it tastes like watermelon can you imagine i probably would be eating it and not telling you guys that i ate some no these are not because i've ate it it's actually when the lady posted it these kind of it kind of broke i should have done an unboxing of it but because it was in the post she didn't send it with first class and that was the bummer about it second class and i didn't know how long it's been in the post especially with the situation nowadays so i didn't know if it was in the post for four days or five days or three days because i got it a week later and i was just like forget unboxing and uh, you know doing a video about it this baby needs to come out because i was so worried because this was the biggest one i found it wasn't just a cutting a little cutting and whatnot it was actual plant she gave it bare rooted so i needed to put it in soil she wrapped the soil up in a tissue and just gave it as it is so i added more soil to it and i put it i added cocoa core to it and just put it in a little pot that i already had at home so yeah guys and this is it basically these are all my paellas pepperonis and i love them and i think they're absolutely wonderful so just wanted to share a little bit and this as well guys i water about once a week these leaves are look at me i'm always going back and forth because i remember stuff a bit too late that's the dyslexia in me just bear with me guys so basically guys look at the like the other side of it even the other side looks so nice or is it just me just love everything about it um but basically guys uh this water once a week in direct sunlight pretty much all the same i look after all three of these the same i've actually put them together as well on one of my plant shelves and they look really nice there and i am just loving them so thanks for coming guys and watching me please like and subscribe and watch my other things and i love you all take care Bye!